hello everyone welcome back to code with yourself youtube channel in this video we will create a cryptocurrency app using react.js okay so this is the demo and the app that we will build okay using react.js we will use an api and you will become familiar with the how to use api how to use parameter with api uh, and how to use header and also how to fetch the data and record uh, in a table like this okay and also the cryptos data uh, data and to fetch that okay like this okay the first one second one okay these are all the cryptos that you see and also how to apply the search and the filter on that okay this is the real time data of the cryptos so now let's okay first of all uh, right here uh, for example i would like bitcoin just bitcoin okay ethereum c and salon no records solana okay so whatever you are searching so it will just uh, print uh, the data based on that data okay based on that you have searched so this is the cryptos data data and the crypto app that we will build in this video and let's get started okay so after creating your react project react app okay just uh, if we should install um, one package or library i have already installed that okay come here to the package.js and this axis okay just install install npm in the terminal write npm install axis after installing the axis uh, now we will start our coding okay so to create this current um, cryptocurrency app so let's yeah in this app.jsx i will write the whole code in this one okay so for this uh, currency app so first of all we will let's assign a class name to this div element which is app and after that here we will just write a name for example crypto currency app all right we'll just separate these two word and after that we will have an input fields here where we will search okay placeholder search or something like this okay and after that we will create a table okay where we will display the whole cryptocurrencies that we have okay so for that we have the table and the t head and inside the table row and inside the table h okay the header of the table so the first thing that we would like to display and fetch from the api that is uh, to rank okay and the second thing let's copy this one and here we will write uh, the second thing is the name of the cryptocurrency and the third thing is to display the symbol and the fourth let's edit them now yeah the fourth thing is the market with us okay market cap let's come down here and the fifth thing is that uh, which is price with us okay and the sixth thing with us is the um, available supply and the last thing is volume 24 hour okay so let's do it so these are something crypto related to the cryptocurrencies that we will pitch okay a uh, volume part 24 hour like this so this is the heater of our table that we will display okay so now down from that we will display our data okay we will let's t buddy So before displaying the data right now we don't have any data because we didn't fetch the data so to fetch the data for that first of all we should create um, two state variable const first search set search is equal to use state hook okay uh, this uh, search is used whenever we write something in this input field we will store that inside this search okay to store that for that we will use on change event on change and we will call now we will just pass event creating a row function and here we will call the sit search method and we will pass e dot target dot value whatever we are writing in this input fields that will be stored inside this search and let's create a second um, state variable which is um, that will be our um, currency okay currency and sit currency uh, which we will fetch from the api sit current see and this is an array with us 
now we will fetch the records okay so to fetch the records for that we will automatically whenever we come here to the uh, run the application so we will uh, fetch the records so for that we are using the uh, use effect hook so let's use use effect it has two parameters the first one is a callback function and the second parameter is uh, array dependency okay this array dependency means that it will render just at the first time whenever we run our application so now let's uh, first of all we will import the axis axis okay let's name it axis uh, from axis okay so after importing axis now we will use the git method with axis okay axis that has imported let's remove this one okay dot get so now let's write our url so which uh, api we should use okay to get the um, data of kinds okay so for that uh, let's move to the browser uh, this okay uh, open api kind states dot app okay this uh, website we will just use this website okay just create an account simply just after creating account you will come here to the dashboard and the dashboard generate a key here you will see the instead of delete api key button you will see generate key okay so press that it will generate a key for you okay this is your key and copy this key after copying this key now we will use this api okay so let's um so uh, it just um this is in examples okay this is the documents that you can configure so i have already used it now i will just copy the urls let's copy the url Control c okay after copying the url let's let's paste it here mm. so after pasting the url uh, now let's pass the headers okay so for the headers in the headers we will pass the api key okay headers here we will pass the api key let's move back to the browser and we will pass this one okay this is our api key and that is name of the api key like this we will write like this so after writing this okay uh, passing the api key then we will get a response that then we will get a response now we will console dot log response first of all we will check our response okay dot catch if there was any error so then we will console dot log the error so let's see it and now let's move okay first of all we will check let's run our application cd client folder and npm run dev so we will run our react application let's open this url so it came to the let's move to the uh, console so after coming to the console see we got this data okay so let's open it in the data dot uh, result okay in the result we got this data okay this is our data we have 20 records bitcoin ethereum tether binance coin and so on eh? a lot of um, cryptocurrencies okay that you see but uh, let's uh, add some parameters okay for example you would like to change the currency and also you want to um, just to um, uh, pass for example the limit okay so for that we will pass the parameter to our url um, question mark then for example limit is equal to 10 okay so let's save it now let's check the result now we will see 10 okay let's check it the data and the result now we have 10 records okay so we can limit it let's make it back remove it by default we have 20 and also we can pass the currency currency is equal to for example ind inr okay indian rupees so you can change it also let's save it and let's check it okay uh, before let's check it first of all the bitcoin price this is uh, uh, 42763 okay so now let's check in the um, ndn rupees the price of uh, let's now uh, where yeah just come here here down this result data dot result and the first one bitcoin see now the price 35 and something like 3 lakh or 35 lakh okay like this one so it is uh, that you can change the currency also so now let's i will remove it also let's uh, see it and now let's go back okay um to print our data now instead of consoling it let's assign it to the currency okay so we will write sit currency or sit crypto okay sit currency uh, response dot data dot result okay result that we got 
so now let's print the data okay using let's print the data here so let's use the currency dot filter i will use first of all the filter method okay i will show you the purpose of filter method okay uh filter then we will get a value let's write here return a value dot um, name dot uh, to lowercase first of all i will change it to the lowercase because the filter it means that i'm filtering whenever i would like to search something in the input fields so first i will filter the data okay it means that filter i used for searching purpose dot to lower case dot includes includes uh, value uh, sorry search dot to lower case okay it means that it will filter our records based on this search okay search okay search that to lower case convert them to the lower case and search that data and return just those records which we have searched and now here i will use dot map okay dot map function okay to return all the records uh dot map and here we will get again a value and let's return uh, now we will return a table row to print the records in the table so first of all uh, we will print the rank okay first we have the rank so for that let's write table data and here we will print uh, value dot rank and let's add a class name class name rank to this one okay uh, and the second one is that we will print the name of our um, um, crypto okay so to print that let's write table data and to this table data before the name we will print the logo of our uh, crypto okay so to print the um, logo for that uh, first of all we will print the logo inside a link okay whenever we press that link so we will move directly to that website and inside this we will print the image of this it means that we will print the logo first of all okay so the logo is to print the logo for that we have value dot um, image okay dot uh, icon okay value that i can will print the logo of that um, a crypto and here we will assign crypto uh, hrip is equal to um, and value dot website url okay like this value dot website url so it will move whenever we click on the icon it will move directly as to the uh, website of that crypto and now down from this uh, we will print the um, uh, let's write p tag print the name of the crypto value dot name close it so this was for uh, in here i will add a class name uh, which is logo now down from that we will print the third which is a symbol okay so to print uh, the symbol for that uh, let's move come here and table data inside the table data uh, we will print the symbol okay value dot symbol symbol and here we will assign a class name to this table data class name symbol and another one is that after symbol we will print market cap okay so for that let's table data and we will print the um, value dot market cap okay so after printing it let's uh, for example this is a, we are um, uh, now printing the data in us dollar okay so i will just write the um, dollar sign before that then we will print table data which uh, which one is after that uh, the price okay so for the price we will use value dot price uh, so for the price uh, we will use now a two fixed uh, method okay it means let's first of all i will use that what it do this two fixed method first of all convert this our price to number to a string after that it fixed the decimal points the decimals okay so to fix the decimals for example we want just to print two decimals okay with the price so this was the usage of uh, two fixed method let's write here the dollar sign and after that we have the um, available supply okay so let's do it table data and let's print that value dot available supply available supply 
supply okay and the last one is the volume okay so to print the volume table data and that is value value dot volume dot we will also fix this one okay to fix the volume okay the decimal finds will be zero okay no decimal finds with this this was the volume that we has printed so it was all about the data that we has printed i think there is no error yeah let's see it now we will check it let's come here to the browser uh let's check it uh too low oh you spelling mistake okay lowercase spelling mistake just come here that too low no we should remove this is uh, so this will lower case let's save it let's check it now see right now we have the data okay but uh, right yeah we didn't get the data and cut I cannot read properties of only by reading to lower case uh, occurred in up again uh, we think to lower case it means again we faced with this error let's check it okay let's check it so let's first of all convert this um, search by the default value should be string empty string and uh, let's check it now so yeah we got that okay before that was undefined so whenever we were using this to lowercase with the undefined or null so uh, it was just generating an error so this is our records now let's close it okay so now i will add some css code okay so to print and design the uh, front end okay so for that i will just write some css code I just come here and here I will add up that CSS file that CSS and here I will write some CSS code now so I have added this CSS code okay so let's first of all wrap this is for app component for app element okay for h1 for input field for the table and for the t head table head and table head th okay for ding and t body table row for the rank for the logo and logo image and for the symbol so then i have imported it inside the uh, app dot uh, gsx okay after importing it now let's check it okay it looks like this okay the design is very well right now so we have these 20 cryptos now let's search okay first of all for example to apply the filter the filter methods that we have applied at the start yeah let's check it okay this is the work of the filter method okay if we search something so it will first of all filter our the data then it will display to us for example we would like to search b n b c t h c ethereum tether ledo and just uh, whatever uh, contains the th we search bitcoin c bitcoin so whatever you are searching so it will display that records to you by default okay so this was um, a cryptocurrency app a fast okay we used api and we displayed the records and um, these are the prices and also if you would like to convert the um, uh, currency so you can convert it to pkr usdt uh, inr or the other um, uh, crypto uh, currency that you would like so you can convert to that also right now we displayed that inside in the usdt dollar okay so i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel thanks for watching a uh, one thing else that if you were we press on this um uh, icon so okay we will move directly to the uh, website of this um bitcoin okay and which one you click so it will directly move you there